previously on Project Zomboid. Let's grab a screwdriver. I've got a pair of hedge trimmers here. And there we go. Craft a baseball bat with a hedge trimmer blade. Let's go ahead and craft that. Look at that. So that's going to be our... Uh, we're going to try this weapon out for a bit. Let's take these guys out and we'll start searching these homes. I like the design of these houses. Lots of... Uh, Lots of windows. Not gonna lie, I like the uh, the survival axe and the katana. Those seem to work really well. I do want to try and get a anvil made this episode, so that'll be the next thing that we work on. There we go, make an anvil. So we've got, uh, just to recap, we've got our 20-some, well all we need is 20 iron ingots. The anvil mold, smelter, uh, a log to burn tongs and uh, work gloves. So let's go ahead and make this anvil. Okay, so we got our anvil. I don't think we need our smelter anymore, so we can put that down. Hello everyone, my name is Nomis and welcome back to Project Zomboid. We're picking up here after a day off from Zomboid. Uh, sorry for not having a video out for you guys yesterday, but I had some personal things come up that I had to take care of, and uh, just didn't have time to uh, record yesterday. But we are back today with Susan, and uh, you know what we're going to do to start this episode off? We are going to try and see if we can fish in our swimming pools, see if it's possible to catch anything at all. Uh, so let's unpack our fishing net traps. We're going to get right into things today our fishing traps out, we'll take our uh, one fishing rod out, some tackle, and let's see here, let's put our fishing traps down first. I don't know if this will work or not, but we had a suggestion in the comments to try this out, so we will. It is water. Maybe, <laughs> maybe for some reason there's fish in here, I don't know. So we'll put, uh, we got three fishing traps, so let's just put them in uh, the, the corners. Why not? Not gonna make much difference. And let's see. Let's try fishing. Let's see if she can catch anything. Now we have read our first uh, beginner uh, book to fishing, so hopefully, if we catch some fish, we'll get a bit of an XP boost. I think it's just uh, the three multiplier, so it looks like uh, first level you get three multiplier, second level you'll get uh, maybe the first two levels you get three multiplier, then five, and then I'm not sure what would go next, maybe eight, ten, twelve, something like that. Uh, let's see if we caught anything here. Nope. We tried fishing several times with Wayne in season two. Never did catch anything. Uh, only luck was with uh, the fishing traps. Oh, oh, but I think we caught something here. I saw our inventory move. A big trout, 58 centimeters, wow. Well, we will salt that. Keep that fresh, wow, look at that. We're catching fish. First try with Susan. Maybe her lucky trait is, uh, is helping her out here. Yeah, let's speed this up. We don't have to wait too long. Fish, fish, fish. That's a fairly big fish. 58 centimeters, I think. I don't know. I'm not really a, f a fisher myself in real life, so... It sounds like a big fish. Let's see if uh, she can catch anything else, though. Can you walk on the diving board? No. Go all around. I don't. Know. I don't know if this actually matters. Moving around. Don't. Oh, there we go. A small crappy fish, 16 centimeters. Yeah. So this is a, this is a big one. Uh, 58 centimeters. Wow. Okay. So we got a crappy fish and a, a big fish. Let's see if we can catch one more, maybe. Oh, I think I left too soon there. Got impatient. We'll do three more casts. See if we can catch something here. But good to know 
We got a good source of uh, food out by the swimming pool here. There we go, a small bass, 31 centimeters. Okay, let's head inside. And uh, actually first, let's put away our fishing gear. Let's equip primary, put that away, put our fishing rod away. And I'll just drop our fishing gear box here, fishing tackle box out by the pool. We'll leave it there. And let's head inside. Grab our bag of salt. Have we found two bags of salt? No, just the one. So hopefully we can find some more. Uh, this one bag though should last us a while. Oh, can you not salt? I thought you could salt the fish. Hmm, I'll have to look back at the, uh, the comments. Uh, Hydromancer X. I, I'm pretty sure he left me a comment about uh, preserving fish. Do we have to fillet it first? Let's see. Let's grab a kitchen knife. Cut fillet. Okay, maybe this is what we have to do first. A fish fillet. Let's fillet these other ones. Oh, we can salt this one now. I guess we, yeah, we just need a, uh, a knife. Okay, well, we'll salt it. There's one salted fish. Cut fillet. No, oh, we can't fillet the crappy fish. <laughs> the small crappy fish. Alright. So you just have to fillet them first, which makes sense. Good. Still about three quarters of our bag of salt left. And yeah. Nothing that we can do there. Fresh, uncooked, small, crappy fish. I'll well, just put that in the, in the fridge, even though the fridge isn't working. And unfortunately, all of our Tupperware containers of food are all rotten now. We are at one and a half months. So time is flying by here. So I guess uh, that food probably stayed fresh in the Tupperware containers for a couple months, or a uh, couple weeks. Let's put our curing salt back, oops, in the right one in here. Toss this knife back. In between episodes I have, there we go, uh, searched, gone through all the main floor uh, rooms in this hotel and cleared them out of pretty much everything and sorted all our, our loot. I still have to get to the top floor. It's uh, It takes a long time. It took, I think, a day and a half in game to just search the main floor with a wheelbarrow. So we'll, we'll get to that. Oh, I guess I should put this salted fish away, hey? That might be good. Where are we putting this stuff? think, well, we could put it here with the other meats, I guess. Okay. And, I don't know if you notice here on the floor, but I have our ingredients to make a, a weapon. I uh, got a, uh, on the last um, video, we had a comment from Hydromancer X, uh, one of the makers of the Hydrocraft mod, uh, just explaining what we needed to do, what we were doing wrong when we were trying to make a weapon. Uh, so to make a smithy hammer, we're going to need our anvil. And uh, I was confused because the recipes I was looking at, I didn't look close enough, I guess, but the recipes I was looking at was saying that you need a smithy hammer to make a smithy hammer, and I was all confused. But I guess we need to make a copper smithy hammer first. So we need a copper ingot. We need uh, a stick, and then a hammer, I believe. And I guess we also need our tongs and uh, gloves to make this uh, hammer first. So let's slowly walk over to where I've stashed those in here with the smelter and kiln. There we go, tongs and work gloves. All right, make copper smithy hammer. There we go. Let's make it. Uh, we'll eventually work towards upgrading all of these, like I've 
eventually get up to like a steel smithy hammer, but uh, copper will be fine for now. I assume we'll need to keep the tongs and the gloves to make a sword here. So I've got six iron ingots. Let's grab all those. Or actually nine iron ingots. Okay, so we got our smithy hammer. We'll put this other hammer away. Got our iron ingots, we got our anvil. And we have our tongs and work gloves, so now we should be able to make a sword. I might need another stick here. I might need another stick. Let's see here. Oh, I guess, uh, hmm. Okay, so we're gonna need an iron smithy hammer to make an iron sword. Oh, okay. Well, to get up to an iron one, well, we'll see if we can do this by the end of the episode then. I'll do some editing. Uh, but we're gonna have to upgrade our copper smithy hammer unless we want to make a copper sword. But I don't think I have enough copper ore. So another false alarm. <laughs> we're getting there, guys. We'll make uh, a weapon eventually. Let's put this stuff down for now. I'll see if I can get uh, something in between edits here. And get enough copper to... Uh, either make a copper sword or we can uh, upgrade our smithy hammer up to an iron one so we can make a, an iron sword so we're still working towards that apologize we should have read the recipes a bit more closely but let's uh, get back to some looting so we haven't really explored much of uh, Bedford Falls let's try and push a little bit further and just find a weapon. Let's see, we got our axe here. Let's use our, let's switch back to our survival axe for a bit. There we go. All right, so let's uh, head out to some new areas and uh, do some zombie killings. We could actually uh, go check out those apartment buildings today. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do today, guys. We'll check out, uh, we'll head into one of these apartment buildings so that's uh, completely new to, to me, and probably to some of you guys, so I think you guys uh, would enjoy seeing that. But first, we must kill the zombies. We're very tired, so our uh, awareness is, is reduced. Uh, another combat knife. I've already got one back at base, but I guess we could grab another one. I like the, uh, the I think my favorite has been the survival axe and uh, the katana as far as new weapons go in the hydrocraft mod. Bit of a maze in here. Where's the door? Bash this one down. Just oh, whoa. okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> a lot of zombies in there. Maybe we should uh, get rested up before we take this uh, this building on. Let's uh, hop into a house down here and just uh, rest up, because uh, if there's gonna be that many zombies in there, we'll want to be as alert as possible. So let's hop in this house if we can. That's locked. Well, it looks like we got a burnt down wall here. Nope. Looked like a burnt wall. Not quite. Is there a bed we can sleep in somewhere? Or a chair? Let's just go outside. Yep. There's a bedroom. Back in here. How do we get over there? Bit of a maze. Very bloody in here. Somebody put up a fight. Wow, it's bright in here. It's almost like there's electricity still. Alright, just close these curtains. And we will rest up. So we can be nice and alert to take on that apartment building.
There we go, next morning. You may also have noticed that Susan is wearing pants now. Oh my god. What is she doing wearing pants? Farming, fishing, let's take some of that stuff. But uh, we are at the beginning of September, September 7th. So it is starting to get chilly. So figured we might as well start wearing some more clothes. So that's what, we're, that's what we've done. She enjoyed her time, no pantsing it. This is quite the, the maze of a house. Well, we might as well loot some of this stuff, I guess. Fill up our water bottle. Carpentry for intermediates, we've already read that one. Another pistol. I believe we have five or six of those now. I think the, the pistol's probably the only gun we're going to be using in this playthrough, at least for the majority, when we, when we do decide to use firearms, because when we're panicking, it just takes way too long to load that shotgun. Fishing for intermediates. Oh, there's a lot of blood in here. Ah! <laughs> Closet zombies! The worst kind of zombies. Stay in the closet. Is that all of them? Trapping. Now I know we can't forage on these new maps. Can we hunt? Uh, trap, I mean? Can we still do that? Can't remember. But we'll have to wait to uh, forage until we're outside of uh, the city in the original map areas. Now this, this house is just a huge maze. Another fire blanket, another MRE, that our main inventory, another saw. We've got a few, I don't know, we'll take the fire blanket I guess. I still don't know if these are reusable or not. More clay, another auger. I wonder if we can smelt that down. I've got one back at base. We could try. Let's smelt down. All right, let's let's head over to those apartments. Um, let's sleep for a couple hours here. Just get up to. Can we sleep in here? Yeah. Just to get up to uh, full awareness. And a little drowsy. Okay, that's about as close as we're gonna get, I guess. Let's take a vitamin. Hopefully that'll allow us to stay awake a bit longer get some MRE head back down now let's head over to the apartment building take care of all these zombies in the bathroom hello where are you I know you're here Hello? Hello, zombie? Oh, did you guys all leave? Wow, there's a lot of toilets in here. That's a lot of water for us to... Oh, <laughs> as they just walk right on by. Hey, guys. This is a dangerous place to be fighting zombies. Where are you going? Oh, yeah, we could get surrounded here pretty quick. Oh god, yep. Alright, come out to the parking lot, guys. Where we've got some room to see around us. Yeah, that's a dangerous area in there. Oh, another axe. Like we need one. I think we have like 16, 17 axes back at base. Just, uh oh. Just fire axes? Oh, that was a little close. Uh, 
Stay down. Oh, another a large Alice pack. Shall we, uh... Well, I guess we'll pick that up. We'll switch out our gear later. Once we're in the clear. Let's grab this axe. Good. Another climbing pack. More binoculars. Zombies. Please don't surprise me, I can't see very well here. Over here. Oh, you're a fast one. Yeah, over here. Oh, you're confused, aren't you? Over here. Where are you going? Going back into your... <laughs> back into your bathroom? What are you doing? Come here. And you too. Okay. Let's do this quickly. Pistol and some antidepressants. Another fishing rod. Oh god. Uh. Uh. <laughs> wow, this is this is a very dangerous location. Take care of all these zombies first. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Alright, come over here. Oh god, okay, okay. Everyone out here, please. Well, maybe we won't even get into the apartment building today. Might just be killing zombies for the rest of the episode. The dramatic music. Keep backing up. Uh oh, crawler. Jeez. No one's coming behind us. Let's take another uh, vitamin here. There we go. Hey guys. Hi ya. Yeah, we're starting to get tired again. I don't know. I guess that vitamin helped us a little bit. Oh, I hate crawlers. Ooh, that was close. She almost turned around. Okay. Those are empty. This is this is the uh, that hardware store that we checked out earlier in the season. In those first few episodes. Where we found all those axes. Okay, there's there's gotta be more of them back in here. Yeah, uh, that wasn't all of you. Come on down. Well, this might be a a couple episode task. To get into this apartment building. One by one, slow and steady wins the zombie apocalypse. Just keep backing up and swinging. Swinging away. Chopping zombies. They're trying to bite me. There we go. Hey, back off. Back off, you smelly... Smelly zombies. 
stinking of dead flesh. Oh my goodness. Still safe behind us. There we go. Whew. That was a bit of a workout. Half dollar, dollar, clothes, okay. Newspaper, kitchen knife, not interested. Let's pop another vitamin. Keep the pill popping going. All right, there any more or is that it now? Oops. A couple more probably. Zombies. Are you still in here, zombies? Are there more of you? No, there aren't. All right, so we've got like a utility room down here, it looks like. With all sorts of monitors and whatnot. Some broccoli seeds. Let's pick up that doorknob. Door hinge. Bowling pin. Okay, oh, a softball, okay. More clay. Uh, we are still able to sift for uh, items, which is good. So I guess for not being able to forge isn't that bad, because we can still sift. Although it was, oh, we're, we're full now. Uh, it was harder uh, for me when I was doing it uh, last episode in between edits it was harder to find spots where I could actually dig up dirt wasn't like everywhere hey where'd you guys come from did you glitch through the wall or were you just in that corner the whole time all right well I gotta head back drop this stuff off we might not get to making that uh, weapon today guys I'm gonna try and uh, we'll try and get into this building at the very least we'll be back in a second well it's the next morning thought I'd rest up just uh, in case take another vitamin here take pills okay and I switched out our medium pack for uh, the large one here that we found so let's see if we can get inside here now. I assume there's gonna be... Oh, no, this is another storage room. Okay. Oh, did we make that much noise? I guess so. They heard us. Take care of this little group. To find out where the front door is in this building. It's gotta be, uh. Must be up there. Okay. Can we sneak by this group? Sneaky, sneaky. Okay. Alright, that looks like the, uh. The lobby. Yeah. These look like front doors. bother going to the broken window. Oh my god! <laughs> That's a lot of zombies. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can take care of this group and then I guess the next episode we'll we'll uh, we'll have our our crafted sword and then we'll take on this apartment building. I think that's how it's gonna have to be. There are a lot of zombies. Let's, uh, all right, let's run down here. Let's start taking this group out. Back off. Oh, and here they come. In force. Oh. 
Oof. Too many zombies. Let's back up a bit. As long as we keep killing them one by one, just don't get surrounded. It's still very early in the morning, only 5 a.m. Hoping for some one hit kills. Been nice. Come on, come on, Susan. Give me a give me a head splatter. Just keep backing up all the way back to base. Swing, bada bada, swing! There we go. Finally killed one. Uh. I'm hearing the splats, but they're not kill splats. No one behind us. Good. Uh oh, back off, back off. There we go. So, slowly. Oh, so slowly are we killing them. Alright, there goes another one. Come on. You can do it, Susan. We believe in you. Oh no. Everybody clap your hands like Tinkerbell. Believe in Susan. There we go. Come on. There we go. Alright. Where's this crawler? Uh, you're a crawler, right? Aren't you? Oh. Never mind. You look like you were in the crawler pose. A uh, rucksack. Is that another another large harking bag? Sure, we'll take it. Okay, let's just run up back to this. Uh, wow, they pushed us back a long ways. Run back up here, see if there's another little group that we should take care of before the end of this episode. Just a couple, hopefully. And we'll take a look in the lobby. I just want to get this cleared out. Sorry if you can hear some background noise, guys. Uh, they are apparently sweeping the parking lot of the townhouses that I live in. Okay, it looks good. Looks like we got a diner up there. All right, we've made it inside the apartment building. It looks like this uh, lobby is clear. So we will end the episode here, guys, and pick up next time. Yeah. Thought I'd double check, but power's out here as well. Ah, so there's more in there. Okay, so we'll take care of them next time, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you enjoyed. As always, leave those comments below. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. And until next time, I'll talk to you all later.